uh, uh, providers, all kinds of information, and then categories, who qualifies for what, you know, where do you go if you have this type of uh, family, this type of income, uh, and, and who do you call, and it's both in English and Spanish, so it's been widely distributed, and it's very comprehensive. Again, a collaborative uh, effort from uh, various uh, organizations coming together. This is awesome. It is. It's very really nice. nice, and it's very, you know, it's something you can carry around with you that's not bulky, and they can mm -hmm. take with them whenever they're on public transportation, which is very common over there. Okay, I'm taking the mic now. Okay, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for all those updates. It's really important. I mean, you know, there's only two of us that are going out into the community, and so it's great when we can get uh, across the both counties and, yeah. and find out what's going on. But, you know, the one other thing I wanted to talk about was something that's called pay for success, and I had to bring it up on, the, on my phone to talk a little bit more about it. But it's a new initiative that the Irvine Foundation, along with... Um, Oh, what's the other organization? The nonprofit have come together to make some funds available to the community to, um, and it's called Pay for Success, and it's an approach to funding social services that are designed to improve outcomes and reduce the costs of addressing the, the issues that they're trying to address. And they're really going to focus right on this first one with regard to preventative or interventional services. Um, but what it tries to do is it provides the funds to an organization to set up the project so that it reduces costs and in the reduction of those costs then the government can come in and pay for those services at the reduced cost. Oh. But the government doesn't take the first risk, the, the funders the will funders take the don't. first risk in trying to reduce those costs. And it's a way that potentially the funders could actually get paid back and reinvest that money into the wow. community. There's so a few of those that are happening. Yeah, what I mean there, there are a few of them happening couple of other places in the country, but I think this is one of the first efforts here in California. And I know other foundations are looking for those kinds of opportunities mm -hmm. to, to make that available. So if you guys out there think that's a really awesome idea, you should, what should you do? Like us on Facebook <laughs> or follow us on Twitter and, you know, send us your questions or your comments about this type of funding. Would you be interested in getting funding that allows reinvent your program in a way that it reduced costs, was preventative in nature, and then also in that way then you'll get your government funding in and repay the funders. Well, that's kind of complicated, but thing. you know, love to hear your comments on that and, and see what you think about getting funding in that way. You can get creative here, out of the box, innovative. Well, innovation. That's what we're always talking All about, that. right? <laughs> Absolutely we do. Um, hey, you know what? We're actually going to do something soon, like in March, to announce the Innovation Initiative Awards. I know, we barely finished Mission Support and <laughs> boom, we're right into Innovation Awards. But, you know, that's really cool. So, again, like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter and you'll get the latest information about when those next grants are opened up for, for uh, application. And that's the big grant. That's the, that's the big one. That's the big one. But that, we're trying to encourage that innovation, so good luck to all of y'all on that. also wanted to just say um, I'm really excited about this because Alliance Healthcare Foundation has been selected as the Community Partner Awardee by Elder Health, one of our Aww. grantees. Oh. And it's so sweet and so special that they would um, acknowledge the grants that we've given to them. And it's going to happen on St. Patrick's Day, which is good because I look good in green. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> <laughs> That's very important. I'm glad Elder Help was thinking about that. Um, they didn't care about that and neither do you. So anyway, really just proud of the fact that we have such awesome partners out yes. there and, and touching to be recognized for our partnership. I think we're very fortunate. Yeah. We have quite a bit of great relationships out in the community. Well, they're just great organizations, That's right? Great work. Yeah. And very responsive. Yeah. Uh oh, we have another question. <gasps> Ooh. Hey, here's a new contest. The question is, does my plant have a name other than poor thing? <laughs> um, <laughs> I probably didn't get that like right, exactly right. But the question is, does my plant have a name? You know, I always feel so sorry for plants when they're given to me as a gift because it is a, truly die. a death sentence that, I don't know, what do you think? Send me. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. Send me a comment. Even the people in this room are laughing at me. Good grief. Um, tell me what you think my plant's name should be. Pity. Pity? Pity. Oh, Lord. Come on, think positive. Think healthy.
Maybe it will liven it up. It got water today. Like once a month when it comes on air, it gets water. Well, you need a combination of water and, and sunshine and well, air. Well, it's over by there. It gets the water. I mean, the sun. The sun. It gets the yeah, sun. It's dry. Pretty dry. <laughs> Sorry. It's behind me. I never see it. I don't think about it. I know. I should be better about that. Anyway, you know what? In closing, this will be our last time in this setting. We've been doing some renovations in our office, and I'm actually going to move from this location down the hall. You really threw me off with that. I was like, oh my God. You were She's ever dropping hopeful. a bomb on me. You were ever hopeful, huh? No, just in this setting. So next time, this month at a Alliance A. Eh, never mind. This AHF. month at AHF, Alliance HF. Anyway, next time we'll be somewhere else. <laughs> Maybe. I'll know where I am at that time. It'll be a new studio. It'll be a new yeah. studio, yeah. Well, maybe we'll have a new guest, too. How about that? That would be Let's great. Let's work on a that new guest. That would be great. There you go. Thanks, everybody, we'll for have joining a us. Have a leprechaun? Yeah. Ooh, for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, how about that? <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for joining us. Don't forget, like us on t Facebook, follow us on t t t Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> and follow the company page for updates on LinkedIn. Thanks, all. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. See you next month.